Applebee's is a liminal space nightmare that none of us have ever woken up from. Hello, it's me. I'm back. I have just escaped from the local Applebee's, and by local, I mean about 38 minutes from here, about 40 minutes. I don't live in a civilization, and if you do, you disgust me. So at this local Applebee's that isn't quite so local, I like to stop off. I have a down east. I like to live big. And today I just decided to go off of the menu a little bit. Well, not, it's on the menu. I just wish it wasn't. See, what I usually get is a bourbon street chicken and shrimp. You get grilled chicken with shrimp and mashed potatoes. Now, I guarantee that chicken is not fresh grilled, nor is it even... It was never once alive. It was concocted in a lab. However, on this special occasion that is Thursday at 6 p.m. at the northeastern area of this country, I had an experience that I came straight home and I just had to just get right into it. So at this local Applebee's, it isn't quite so local, there is this dish called the Riblets. You might have heard it from a few commercials. It's their world-famous Riblets. It's, 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 it's where humanity has peaked and where humanity will never grow past. Now, I've never had a Riblet. I've had ribs. It's bones with meat surrounding them, and when you rip them apart, usually it falls apart and you just end up eating it with your hands because you're an adult man because th that's what being an adult man means is that I get to put on my bib and have a little wet napkin right after I finish eating however today on this on Christling Christingly scary day I ordered some riblets at a bar at an Applebee's at the bar and um did you know it's 80% bone? Because I didn't until I ate two or three of them. Not riblets, the bones. I consumed them whole. Um, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if a smaller human's going to start growing inside of me, or perhaps uh, he's going to escape my body while I sleep. I don't know where the entrance or exit comes from. I hope he does not make his own. However, that's not the point of the story. I ate bones. Just... That's it. I think I ate about 0.1 ounces of food, of meat, and about nine french fries before I decided, yeah, that's that's probably about enough. Y yeah, that's probably good. Uh, while I'm sitting there, not really enjoying my meal in my Down East, if you know what Down East is, it's uh, an elixir of the Lord. It's apple juice, but made in the Northeast of America, uh, and you can't have it. It's It's mine. Uh, while I was sitting there at this Applebee's, the man next to me at the bar, it's a full bar, you know, it's a Thursday, it's Applebee's, they're popping, they're happening, it's the place to be for all the cool kids in town right after they get off the roller rink, whatever the fuck you do in this state, and he comes back talking about this man, Th this man that is in the bathroom, screaming, now I don't mean that figuratively, you know, he's screaming, he's hollering, he's, he's having a hoot and a holler. No, he is screaming. He's yelling. He's sitting in there screaming. So I'm listening to the patrons talk to the bartender. Uh, it seems that everybody at Applebee's is a regular. I, uh, I slipped into the back rooms of American Fine Dining and ended up at Applebee's. Don't know what that says about you. It sure as hell says a lot about me. And while I'm sitting there not enjoying my dinner, I'm listening to them talk about this man screaming and swearing and just really just yelling out some bad words. And I was like, huh, I'm going to get shot or stabbed tonight. Now, that might be dramatic. However, it is. And that's where I'm leaving that. It's very dramatic. However, people are scary. I don't. It's dangerous business going out your front door these days. So while I'm eating my uh, bones, my plate of bones... Um, I decided, you know what, I, I'm also curious about this toilet bandito, um, sucking the souls of children through the poop chute, or whatever the fuck he's doing in there, and, um, I skedaddled my way into there, and while, while I was in there, and by in there I mean I opened the door and decided, well, I'm gonna fucking die, so I'm gonna go back to my table, he was indeed yelling, lots of fucks, lots of lots of fucks, you know, there was a lot of, well, not fucking going on, I assume, but he said, it, I look, I, I, I take a peek under the stall, you know, it's a man screaming, I think at this point, a lot of barriers, a lot of social barriers have been breached, so I take a little gander, 
And this man's, you know, pants around the ankles, sweatshirt on the floor, t-shirt on the floor, boots cast aside. The man, for some reason, took off everything, including the socks, everything except for the jeans. The jeans were the were where we drew the line on this at this local Applebee's on a Thursday afternoon. Um, and he is indeed screaming. It's a lot of fucks. It's oh my god, my 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 fucking ass. Um, I assume a demon was was crawling out of there, and. I decided I, lo- I no longer needed to use the bathroom for this toilet bandito. Um, just stole stole my business right out of my pocket. I no longer needed to, to be in that room. I no longer felt safe in that room. No, I didn't think he was going to jump up, pants around the ankles, and t-shirt as a towel, come after me. It was more just the fact that I think the soul pressure in the room could collapse the entire bathroom and or Applebee's like a neutron star. So I would go back to the bar. And I finished my drink. And I, I do have another. I, there's a lot to process here. There, there's a lot to process at this at this local Applebee's at, at what is it, like 7 p.m. And the guy next to me, you know, he went in there. He braved the storm before me. He was, he was the scholar that came out and spread the gospel that was the man worshiping Jesus by the porcelain throne. And I went, yeah. Yeah, he's having a good time in there. And then the guy next to me proceeded to talk about McDonald's uh, adult Happy Meals, where he then showed me a meme of a um, Grimace, the purple thing. He asked me what I thought Grimace was. He, a- he said, I-, I know you're young, but what do you think the purple thing for McDonald's is? Grimace. A Grimace that'll make you Grimace. And I went, I, I don't know, man. He looked like a giant fucking plum to me. And he went, no, he's a taste bud. Here's a picture of him as a butt plug. And I went... I- there's just a lot of things happening really quickly, and I don't know when I ask to participate, but I'd like to opt out of this email chain because I'm not interested in the newsletter deals or offerings that you're providing me. Um, and, you know, it was it was a good laugh. And then about 25 minutes passed, and I was like, I, I just really got I to gotta really got to use this bathroom. And he's still screaming. At this point, I had been there for like an hour and a half, I think. And he is just, he he is just, he's hanging on for life. And I don't think it's providing him with the, with the energy and the power that he, he could have, he could have fueled a small city with the amount of strain. When Goku in Dragon Ball Z went Super Saiyan 3, I think the atmosphere felt less pressure than this man excommunicating his organs from his asshole. Now, I don't mean to paint you a word picture, but he was dying. And I don't, I think he made it out because by the time I left, he was gone. Um, but, but I think he might've actually just fallen into the back rooms. He might've, he might've just strained a little too hard and he no clipped out of this reality through the absolute pressure of, of Kegeling an entire pressure cooker in his ass. I don't know what was, what was going on, but Jesus Christ almighty he let a demon loose in this in this Applebee's, and I I I ate bones, and that's kind of the whole story. Don't order the riblets, and don't use the bathroom at 3 a.m. at Applebee's. Uh, it's a spooky time, and I had to just I had to come home and talk about it, because if I don't share this experience, I, I think it'll come up in therapy at some point, and I don't think they deserve that. I don't think I deserved it. You know, I like to think that every now and again I'm a decent person, but, you know, maybe maybe I now have my own demons to, to conquer. But I just wanted you guys to, to know about that. I, I, I will be going back to Applebee's. I, I support them. You know, that's, it's, it's good eating in the neighborhood or whatever their motto is. Um, yeah, I just, won't, I just won't be interacting with anybody ever again. I, I never go to an Applebee's alone at 3 a.m., that's about it. I thank you guys for joining me. Uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.